I'm Tim Watson from Tomography and today we're just going to be doing a quick little five minute makeover using uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. So let's get into it. I've just got some uh, outtake images here from a, uh, a shoot we did uh, a little while ago just to use as an example. Um, what we're going to be doing is just uh, removing some skin blemishes and softening skin and, and doing a couple of little things uh, just in Lightroom. Um, everyone's got imperfections when it comes to uh, your models. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a part of life. But, uh, just little skin blemishes and, and, uh, and what have you. But they're fairly easy to get rid of. Um, so what we're going to do is use a combination of uh, Photoshop just to quickly use some uh, spot healing. Uh, I know that Lightroom has spot healing uh, tool in the develop module here. Um, I just like the way that the Photoshop works um, a little bit better. Um, here's our spot removal tool here. Um, Photoshop's just a little bit easier, I find, for my particular workflow. So, let's go ahead and uh, open this image into Photoshop. Any second, that should be all going well. <laughs> Pop up on our screen. So all I'm going to do is just uh, zoom into 100%. Um, now I've got a, a tablet which I'm working with here, but you can also use, uh, of course, just the mouse. Now I've just got it's just off the screen, but I've just got the uh, the spot healing brush tool selected. Um, the brush size is about 40. Um, I'll turn the hardness down a little bit um, to about 50%. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, get going here and just start um, spotting on these little um, blemishes here. A uh, good thing about using the tablet of course is that it's pressure sensitive uh, as far as your edits or your adjustments go. Um, with a mouse click you'll just get an adjustment like that, whereas with the um, tablet we can make very small, minor adjustments, which is nice. So just quickly going along. now. <laughs> Um, some photographers I've, I've seen get it really carried away with removing blemishes. Um, I think that can be a little bit too much sometimes if you get rid of every single blemish on a, on a model's face and skin. Uh, it can look a little bit overdone. I like to leave uh, a few little bits and pieces here and there only because very few people have, have truly perfect skin. Um, so I'm not going to go get rid of everything, just uh, little bits and pieces here and there. So we're just going to quickly get rid of a few more little things around here. Um, shouldn't take too long, as I said, I don't want to go crazy. But we do want to get sort of the majority, if you like. So I'm just going to hold down my uh, space bar and drag the cursor, which then moves the image around, which is a cool little uh, feature. Um, and just use my, I've got my scroll wheel here on the tablet program to move the image up and down, uh, which is handy for, uh, for editing. And I think we are pretty much done. I'm just going to go back to uh, to fit on screen view, and that's pretty good. I think um, that's about what I want. So uh, my particular workflow is that I'm going to save that adjustment into light into uh, the image from Photoshop. So when we go back over here into Lightroom. Um, it will update the image with our adjustments made. There we go. Nice and quick and easy. Okay, another quick little uh, adjustment we're going to do here is I really like, I'm just going to close this panel here, I really like the um, adjustment brush in Lightroom using the Soften Skin um, tool. Um, it's another, once again one of those features that can you, you can do too much of, but um, just a little bit looks really nice. So you can't really tell there, but I'll drag the cursor over here. We can um, select the brush size, um, a fairly about there should do, I think. Um, and I want to bring this once again back to around about 50%. I don't want to be too much. But what we do is we basically just start brushing over the skin. Um, try and avoid the eyes, it doesn't. I don't like it too much around eyes, and I'm um, once again I'm I'm not concerned that I'm not getting every single square millimeter um, of the model's face here. 
I'm just going to hold the space bar down again. Um, once again, if, if I miss a bit here and there, um, that's okay with me. Uh, once again, the, the point of the exercise is uh, to do an overall adjustment. I'm not... Obviously, if, if I miss a huge bit, I'll, I'll go back and get it naturally, but um, we just want to create sort of an overall effect. Um, this brush actually looks quite nice over the model's lips um, and noses. Uh, well, noses, you've probably noticed just while I've been doing this adjustment. I'm just going to keep moving down here, just to the bottom of the model's chin. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And because we've done it on the model's face, I'm going to just um, increase my brush size here and just continue the edit down the model's um, neck and across her chest just to keep the uh, the edit consistent. I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit because that view is a little bit too close. Okay, so once again, making sure I get most parts of the model skin. I'm not concerned if I miss a, a little tiny bit here and there as long as you know, we get the majority. So it looks even, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we are just about done, I think. I'll just uh, zoom out a bit there. Um, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to turn that uh, brush off. I'm just going to uh, close this panel there as well. So now, when we zoom in, um, we can see we've got a, a nice, even effect, nice softened skin effect the model's face which is really nice. Um, I'm just going to zoom out again if I bring uh, this panel back in. So that's what we started with. I'm just going to zoom in just a, a wee bit here. So that's what the image started like uh, and after we finished doing our softening uh, it's quite a nice little effect. Once again just on and off one more time. And we're done. That image is now ready for exporting um, with that adjustment made. Uh, it didn't take us long, but we've we've made, uh, I think, a, a fairly nice impact on the image. So there you go. Just a quick little video today. If there's anything else that uh, you would like us to share or, or talk about or demonstrate, please send me an email through my website at timography.net. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye.